Freedom of worship is guaranteed by Article 48 of the Constitution of the Republic of Azerbaijan, which stipulates the right to independent defining attitude towards religion, professing any religion individually or in a group, abstaining from any religious cult, as well as expressing and disseminating ideas regarding religion. Pursuant to Article 18, Items 1 to 3 of the Constitution, religion is separate from the state in the Republic of Azerbaijan, with equal rights conferred to all congregations by the law. The law on freedom of religion adopted in the Republic of Azerbaijan back in 1992 provides for the right to independent expression of attitude towards religion, profession of religious cult, and free exercise of this right. Very convenient geographic location of Azerbaijan turned the area into a very important part of a region traditionally affected by various geostrategic influences. Dissemination of various religions over time was inevitable for the region linking Europe to Asia and bridging Oriental and Occidental cultures. Pagan cults, Zoroastrianism, Judaism, Christianity and Islam have been traditionally prevalent and influenced each other in the territory of Azerbaijan during various historic periods. Ancient history of Azerbaijan prevents evidences of worshipping natural forces, celestial bodies, followed by the tradition of worshipping fire, which became prevalent all over the country in later periods. Christianity got a strong foothold in the territory of Azerbaijan since the first centuries of last era. After the conquest of Jerusalem in the 70s AD, the first Christian communities emerged in the area with newcomers settled in Caucasian Albania. The oldest church built in Kish and preserved in Azerbaijan up today was created prior to the church in Armenia. The Christian influence in the area became furthermore prevalent with lifting the prohibition to profess Christianity by the Roman Emperor in 313 AD. Meanwhile, Christianity had to compete with Zoroastrian practices during various historic periods when Caucasian Albania became a battlefield in between the Sasanian Persia and Byzantine. With the fall of the Albanian state in 705 AD, Albanian clergy started gradually losing its positions following rapid dissemination of Islam in the area. That said, Part of the local population kept worshipping traditional Albanian shrines. The Albanian church was finally dissolved by the Russian Empire as late as 1836. However, despite the fact that all assets of the Albanian church were handed over to the leaders of the Armenian Apostolic Church in Echmiadzin, followers of the Albanian church managed to retain allegiance to their historic congregation up to nowadays. New pages in the religious history of the area were written down by mighty empires, oftentimes pursuing their own political agenda in the region. It was 15 centuries ago when the Sasanian Empire started moving Jewish population to the Caucasus with a view to better protecting its borders. Close interaction with the local population for centuries never led the Jewish settlers to be proselytized due to strong ethnic identity, fermented ideology, and strict adherence to religious traditions and practices. This enabled the Jewish community to retain its lifestyle and cultural legacy in Azerbaijan up to today. The 19th century presented Azerbaijan with further dissemination of Christianity in both the Orthodox, Catholic, and Protestant congregations. Following the settlement policy pursued by the Russian royal government, the first Russian Orthodox Church was erected in Baku in 1815, followed by the Roman Catholic Congregation in the Caucasus in the 1850s, mainly composed of the Catholic officers of the Russian army. The Lutherans appeared in Azerbaijan since 1819 with the first German settlers. Both Catholic and Protestant congregations got a strong impetus during the period of the oil boom since 1872. The freedom of religion was severely hampered by the Soviet takeover of Azerbaijan in 1920. This had a grave impact not only on various religious groups and congregations, but the majority of the Muslim population as well. Despite certain effect on the mentality resulting from this policy of violent atheism conducted for the period of good 70 years, the people's strive to God had been never eradicated. The collapse of the socialist bloc by the end of the 20th century brought about a number of serious issues to be addressed. Apart from economic and demographic problems, transitional period was also featured by tremendous problems in the field of spiritual life. That was the time when the clash of civilizations theory appeared and got supporters in various parts of the world. Religious slogans were broadly used by certain separatist forces and secessionist groups to pursue their agenda. 
These efforts are of a very serious danger today. Events unfolding in the countries of former Soviet Union posed a significant peril to the centuries-old traditions of tolerance in Azerbaijan. The situation was brought to its climax by the Armenian aggression against Azerbaijan resulting in more than 20,000 deaths and displacement of about 1 million refugees and IDPs. Even though religious roots of the Azeri armenian conflict over Nagorno-Karabakh are generally refused, Bazgan I, the Armenian religious leader, was among the major instigators of the hostilities. Since the very outset of the conflict, masterminds of the Armenian secessionist movement were trying to their very best to persuade the international community in eminence of so-called Islamic threat in Azerbaijan. Despite the efforts of forces interested in stirring up religious hostilities in the society, Haydar Aliyev's return to the politics was instrumental in unifying the Azeri society with more than 95% of Muslim population and reinstatement of domestic stability in the country. Ability of the Azerbaijani society to retain traditions of tolerance and patience in the most complicated situations provided a clear evidence of the possibility for various ethnic and religious groups to coexist in the country peacefully. To a great extent, this was nurtured by the democratic traditions embedded in Islam, a faith professed by the majority of the population. Today, relations between the state and the church in Azerbaijan are not dominated by any single faith. Islam, Christianity and Judaism constitute the three traditional faiths enjoying the same legal status. Alongside with Muslims, the state provides support to other religious beliefs and congregations. The Church of Holy Peaceable Wives, closed down after 1920, was returned to the Orthodox Patriarchy in 1991, consecrated and comforted the status of a cathedral in 2001 by Venerable Alexei II, the All Russian Patriarch. Renovation of this church was initiated by a Moscow-based Muslim private entrepreneur of the Azeri origin. Efforts by Reverend Jerzy Poliusz, a Polish clergyman, resulted in substantial government support currently offered to the Catholic community officially registered in the country. The congregation, with two clergymen appointed by the Holy See, is involved in constructing the Catholic Church in Baku with the design agreed upon with the Vatican. Protection of ancient traditions and heritage of the Jewish community in Azerbaijan is another priority for the government. The Hebrew classes were introduced at the Oriental Department of the University of Baku for the ethnic Jews whose homeland is Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan-Israel Friendship Association, together with Sahnud, Joint and other Jewish organizations played an enormous role in fomenting these relations of friendship and mutual esteem. Three synagogues are currently functioning in the Jewish-populated Red Settlement of Guba, Azerbaijan. Interconfessional dialogue currently existing in Azerbaijan is broadly recognized throughout the world. The spirit of tolerance was emphasized by former Roman Pope, late Pontific John Paul II, and the head of Eastern Roman Orthodox Church, Venerable Bartholomew I, during their visits to Baku in May 2002 and April 2003, respectively. A very constructive position of leaders of religious congregations in Azerbaijan is another important factor in building up confessional tolerance in the country. Regular meetings of the religious leaders are very conductive to inter-confessional dialogue and proper observation of religious values of various ethnic minorities. The State Committee for Religious Associations has another important role to play in maintaining traditions of religious tolerance in the Republic of Azerbaijan. Unique relations in between the state and the church in the country are featured by coexistence and coordination of activities among 345 religious associations, 31 out of them of non-Islamic origin. The Forum for Unity of Religious Associations in Azerbaijan for Peace and Conciliation, registered in the fall of 2004, is a clear example of such a cooperation. The major activities of these associations, with a direct outreach to broad audiences, are focused at further promotion of human values and addressing major social problems such as drug addiction, AIDS, and immoral behavior. With its unique and unprecedented model, the newly formed forum has been recognized by the international organizations in due course. The project on capacity building for the civil society in combating AIDS, currently undertaken by the forum with the support from the UNDP, is a clear proof of that. The summary collection published in the framework of this project will encompass items from all the holy books related to healthy lifestyle and good family traditions. Three and a half thousand copies of the collection have already been printed in the Zeri, Russian and English languages. 
In fact, the foundation of such a unique and unparalleled agency in Azerbaijan was far not by chance, as for centuries, religious traditions and mentality of the dominantly Muslim population of the country were based on high esteem and tolerance towards other ethnic groups and confessions. This is the most appropriate and the only possible option for the globalizing world.